segment is sponsored by Kent District Library. KDL is introducing a new way to make learning fun and engaging. iVox is a children's book app that uses the latest in storytelling technology to create the read-along of the future. It allows young readers to follow along with a story while interacting with its characters and what's happening in that story, the scenes. I want this for grown-up books. Lisa Rodke is a branch librarian with KDL, and she joins us now to tell us more about iVox. Hi, Lisa. Hi, how are you? I am well. I'm so impressed by this new technology. How exciting. Tell us about iVox. Yeah, you um, you really explained it well. Um, so it's an app that you can download onto um, Apple products or Android products. It also does work on desktops and laptops, but you lose some of the interactiveness. Um, and it's it's just a great way they've made books 3D. So you appear to open a flat book and then all of a sudden it pops to life and you can turn it and look into the books. It's just another great way to engage young readers with, um, with reading and more words. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I imagine that that's the whole goal behind it. And the reason why you're offering uh, this service is to just get kids where they are, capture them and, and turn them into readers. Yes, for sure. We have, um, iVox has print books with digital, um, with digital sound in them. So kind of like the books of the olden days where we would put a record on and play it. So this company does have print books with sound recordings in them and they're so popular. And this kind of takes it to the next level where you can do it on the go with, um, with a phone or a tablet and it adds that element of engagement. Kids can read the same book 50 times and go back and forth and engage with the material. Experience it differently each time, I'm sure. Uh, are sure. certain books available on the, you go on there and you browse for a book? Is that how it works? It doesn't work with just any book. Yeah, yeah. So it's an app and you go to the app and it's it, one of the great things about it. It's really easy to access with a KDL library card. So if you have a KDL library card and you download the app from wherever, the app store, wherever you get, um, wherever you get apps, you will, it will ask you to put in your zip code. And um, once you put that in, you'll see Kent District Library. You click on that and um, put in your library card number and the library will open and it will show you all the books that are available to you. And one of the things that's great is there's, they're accessible wherever you are on the go. You don't um, need to place holds. They're available, you click on them and for um, families on the go, once you download them, they're you're, they're available offline. Mm -hmm. So you can take this in the car or on a trip. Um, if you're a family that's not totally comfortable coming back into the library or don't make it into the library as often as you would like to, it's a great option to just keep checking out different materials. So there is a limited library, but you get access to everything that's in the current iWax library. Very right nice. Now. That's great. Yeah. KDL does so much for young and developing readers. Share with us some of the other kinds of programs and resources available to kids in the early stages of their reading careers. Yes. Well, um, if you go to kdl.org um, slash young dash children, we have a whole page devoted to all kinds of resources for everyone in the community, all kinds of different things. Some things that I could highlight off the top of my head um, for our, our early literacy kids, the six and under crowd for sure, is we do a program called um, 1000 Books Before Kindergarten. Mm -hmm. And you can sign up at any of the Kent District libraries. And it's just a way to kind of set goals and get a lot of books read before our kids start kindergarten for all that early literacy exposure. Um, you can sign up anywhere. It's, it's a really fun and really popular program we have. Um, something else I was thinking about is we are so close to summer. So we're wrapping up the end of our spring story times and spring early childhood programming. And um, starting the first week in June, we'll be kicking off Summer Wonder. And that's definitely something as families are looking towards summer to come sign up. We have stuff available for all ages, but definitely there's stuff for our early literacy crowd. All right, great. Uh, okay, so for IVOX information, visit kdl.org slash IVOX. We'll put a link on our site at 139yearside.com. Lisa, thank you. Yes, thank you so much. It was nice meeting you. Too.